Look like they're going to flash room. Just going to walk around the corner here. Julie start to unload. Rocks with the opening kill. Traded out for favor now. And Rain tries to respond, but has been smoked off. In the meantime, Brokey towards Long will stem the bleed. So we still have a smoke, a flashbang, and now the recovered Barretta is in the hands of Faven. They'll go towards middle, and Carrigan will spot them here. So let's hold up towards middle. Carrigan and Twist patrolling the B bomb sites, and there's still plenty of time there, but the man advantage lies with FaZe. Yeah, likely saw the bomb there on that spot, Carrigan. So bunker down towards the B bomb site, Twist towards the back, with USP in hand. This CT side of Dust 2 been a bit elusive for FaZe throughout the event. Let's see if they can course correct here in the most important game. So are we going to be smoking the double doors in front of the tunnels here, Chad? What do you reckon? I think the doors and a couple of flashes here would be the most likely avenue of assault. There's the smoke. Flashes to follow here. How many is Twist going to be able to get? There's one. Just taps away at the head. That goosh is going to sting. But Carrigan now can come in and, well, get involved in the mix. Twist will continue to poke those heads down. It's going to be a great start here. 1-0 for Faye. So the bridge smoke, the one way. Molly's towards the site. Flashes as well. So he has nothing. Yeah, it's going to be a very difficult task. Now, if Big doubt themselves, if they drop back and go for a mid to B, Twist and Rops combined could try and lock this out. But they're just going to contact forward and Carrigan stands tall. It's a one for one. Twist will get a kill in the meantime. And now we have a winnable two on two with Keto Low. We absolutely do. Twist and Rops will both rotate through the double doors here towards middle. Bomb being planted in the default spot. And there we go. Keto patrols the steps. Presumably going to be baited in here by Sirson. That's a lovely Molotov. As we mentioned, the CTs with no utility whatsoever. They will split the attack here towards Long. Twist will be sent in, and this flashbang actually catches Rops completely. Not the cleanest kill, but it'll absolutely do. Keto down to 10 points of foul, so did very well to get a frag there. Uh, it might not be possible for Twist here. Time is of the essence, and uh, with about 15 seconds remaining, just trying to see if any exit frags are available. But uh, we'll see what he wants to do with this. Yeah, I think he's cooked right now. No way to get into this one. Didn't expect both players to be towards short, and that will be the round. So big bounce back immediately here when the buy comes through. You can see that flash there from Rox. He's going to get pressure. Carrigan is going to need to chime in with Brokey here. A smoke. Well, it's going to delay them, but Brokey needs to do this all alone. Damn. And Faven, beautiful shots right there. Two heads hit the deck. Rox yeah. is trying to thread the needle here. He has been able to avoid Crimbo for now. He has indeed, but we've got Twist low HP from the initial tag as well. Another five versus three, and this time no grenades whatsoever once again. I'm going to try and fight towards this A site here. If they group up flash forward with Twist, they could try and take the fight to big, but hoping the reaction comes quicker here. 50 seconds remaining. If Twist was there towards A, he could maybe flash the crossover, and we could see another spray down towards that long area, but this is the all-important frag here. Robs will deliver it, but he has been found out. Grimbo presumably going to trade this one. An opportunity there, but Rain fighting back with that AK-47 towards the A site. It's not quite enough. The Desert Eagle only for Twist, as we mentioned, already tagged. Has absolutely no chance in this one. Well, hopefully he can find himself a weapon to carry through the next round. Clubs the jump just there, but not going to be the end of the world. And I suppose they're ready to fight this in the middle. There's going to be three players clumped in middle here, four phase to try and fight. And here come Big. Well, now that flashbang isolates Twist completely, but he's rising to the occasion. Great opening shots and actually gets a triple yes. kill. This is more like it. The aggression paying off here, but it's answered in due course. Back to a two on two, and it's the double scout combo, Chad, to try and save the day. I'm not sure it's possible, but plenty of time. Potentially can go recover one of those rifles, but it's a no man's land right now along with the bomb. Depends on the type of fights that come their way, right? If they get a tag and get away, they'll make things very, very precarious for Big here. They're just holding out for these pushes. Big have come prepared today for all of these Aggie moves that FaZe <sighs> I thought would catch them off guard. I can't believe the double scale combo on the CT side and the gun round. You ever seen anything like it? But uh, let's see what they make of it. I think mid is the absolute best call they could. Uh, possibly go for here. Well, Carrigan now up towards short, so they've been able to find this gap. For Rops, if he can get in towards upper dark, he can try and silence them as they make their way into B, but it's so much utility. They can smoke off it's, tunnels, it's, they it's can volley nightmare. back a plat, and they're just staying silent. They're keeping these questions for FaZe consistently in these rounds. Well, we said the high fraggers of FaZe had to step up, a triple kill from Twist. It's still not enough for the looks of things. As we go towards the tunnel, the scout will need a headshot. That's the only way they could save that round. And unfortunately, it will be Grimbo with another stunning shot towards uh, the head of Rops and Carrigan. I guess you might as well see if you can get a rifle. Yeah. That's all you can hope for. Well, here's the thing. They've all right, they're just been scooped up. Rain was trying to find it. Now, if he throws this nade. nade out, it could do a decent chunk of damage. Keto put on notice, and they're sending him in first again. But this aggression from Rops, nobody saw Perfect. it coming. Get one, get away. Force big into disarray. 
Roki's picked one off towards mid, and finally, a late push that's worked out for FaZe. Absolutely. Rob's doing God's work there, pushing down towards lower. They had no idea, and you can see how much more control they've got towards middle with Broki backing up with the sniper as well. Five versus three. This time in favor of FaZe Clan. It will be the execution, but uh, do they commit? Flashbangs being prepared. 15 seconds on the clock. Surely, FaZe tuck this one in. This is so late. How do you even get to the site right now? The volley's come over. There's just no time What's for this. Here? Raven's out long oh. late. Two massive kills. One on the site. There's no time to plant. There's no time to plant. Twist is going to confirm it. The kills are great here. The damage is good from Big. But Twist is going to handle business oh. and he even gets a couple oh. after time been quick, but he's been limping out looking for these fights and taps him. He swings top wow. mid. There's Keto, the aforementioned entry fragger, and he's going to get two mid to bees open and bigger back in it. That's crazy. I'm surprised Robs doesn't get a kill there, but stunning shots from Big Clan here. This is looking very, very good. In round number nine, they've got a five on two, Carrigan and Rain. No real options here. I guess if they do go towards long, there's a chance Rain can get a couple of kills, but they've subverted expectations. Back towards B we go. The bomb will be there towards the back of Tabson, Krimbo will join him as well. That is grouping up. Mid has been a great area for Big. And like you said, they're playing it by the book. They're being very methodical and tight as uh, they group up together, not giving anything away. If you phase an inch, they'll take a mile every single time. You've got to go through the procedures. Make sure you're running your protocols. What's well, good stuff from Twist here. He's had impact on the pistol round, on the gun rounds. He's had a, a, a lot of kills here coming through. Uh, it's the rest of the, the cast here that need to contribute. I was I doubting myself? Eric. I don't know. Really. I don't know why I doubted myself. I, I did don't all know the prep, why. You know, I wrote all the not, notes. That's not like you, Jack. I doubted myself. That is right. the They are the highest 5v4 in, in the tournament at the moment. You have uh, the biggest Counter Strike brain I'm aware of, Jack. Oh, so. Don't give me that. <laughs> I'm trying to pick you up. Trying to get, you, trying to get you back in the zone. All right, all right. I'm getting in the zone. Here we go. Twist. Canadian sensation. Wait, they've got a chance here. This is looking promising. Big my bell to. Thread the needle with the Molotov at the back as well. They can potentially isolate the players here. The car goes down with nothing. This is a real problem. Rops thankfully finds one. Ducking and weaving now, but here we go. The opening has been found. Can they get the bomb planted? The orb outside. Molotov here actually making things very uncomfortable. Roki might have to commit. Oh, this no, one. no, no, no. It's the double kill, and it goes down to a two versus one. How have they given this one? Our builds are five versus three, Chad, and big help. Let's get into it, finally. Pushing again. They're just running straight down the dark here. Boys. Wow, they Boys. take the fight. Big weight every single time. This hasn't worked out, but Brokey taking matters into his own hands. Still a competitive round, but the beat bomb site is wide open. Tiersen will help himself to it, and it's up to Rain to deny access. Needs to try and get something done here. Can he sneak through the window? Up to the grenade towards Big Box here. It does connect nicely, but I dare say he's going down. This is looking tremendous, but uh, there we have it. A three versus one. Brokey dropped down there. So after winning the eco, they give that round away. This Counter-Strike right here. He's been peppered. He might want to consider saving this. Eight to four. And a 5v4. A very difficult round to win. Trying to dodge the bullets. And Loki trying to dodge the flames. He's been burnt down to 21. I don't see a way for FaZe to get back into this. And as the smoke starts to fade, it's going to be a sit and duck. His twist with another opportunity of a kill. And one he'll get. But the bomb is planted towards A. And look at the HP. So low. Rain. Well, he'll be dropped in the end. And it's a four versus three. I dare say it's probably over, and they are going to start retreating here. Robbed with a fadeaway frag. Maybe a couple here. Oh, actually loses the orb I love the, the aggression. Well. They, they're taking the, the fight yeah. to phase. They go, okay, that's cool. You want to aim up? We, we have heavy hitters, right? They do. The, the, the question is big getting their heavy hitters online. Right. Hito hitting some good shots. Faven's doing the same. Tabson's online. Seriously, those three names, they all have nine kills. Keto's the highest with ten. It's just Krimbo with four, and he's doing his job. Yeah, you've got Seriously is running that we were talking about. It's how they react at this moment. So short control utility comes out. Here That's a great find from Bro Brokey. A way to get the round started at least. And they've baited in the MP9 here towards short as well. They might not be aware. This close range weaponry. This though is the barrel. Exactly. That's a good point. Rain is primed and ready, but uh, looks like we might be going back towards B. So Rain will explore his options, see if there's an AK to pick up here. And indeed, there is a rifle, but doesn't want to make any noise just yet. They're setting up the big 19 seconds, the bomb's just here on his oh, left. That's, 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 that's the round. That's the round done. You're not going to get the bomb in time, Rude. boys, and you're not going to get all the kills in time either. So uh, we can call this one the fifth. It doesn't matter how many kills Keto continues to get. Good point. But uh, I guess he might as well try and get them if he can, but it's a double spray. The Krimdo, Krimbo, just for the final round, is down to a P250. I think that flash went deep enough there. It didn't actually blind the orbit towards short. Certainly not. Carrigan with a different approach this time. Gets himself behind the double doors along. 
Will he come out on top, though? A little bit of an awkward battle considering the smoke's there, but it subsides. He's got four players in front of him. If he gets one, presumably that's all he gets, but it's a double spray down. Has he got anything left in the tank? Taps and denies it. But a great showing there from Carrigan after having a rough couple of interactions. Brokey, brave as well, finds the third kill. Range should be absolutely fine to get Crimbo, and there it is. Looking like it's been 9 6 here, Chad. Yeah, this is a salvage half right here from FaZe. Big. They come out the gate. Sirison's moved over towards this car position. He's going to be able to chime in with the scout. Another tag. It's going to soften them up for Tabson here. That Molly burning. Faven already on the flank. This is starting to look good for Big. And Faven gets found out by Carrigan. A massive kill with tags. Damage. It's being done. FaZe are dealing with this unless Sirison can continue to do damage with this scout. We'll see if he can, Chad. It goes down to a three versus two. Still a competitive round, but maybe not for long. This is oh. the moment now. Keto nails the shot. But a two versus one with the scout, you, you have to say it's probably over. Double digits for FaZe potentially. If he goes for it, they're both just one tag from death. So that's at least a positive here. But for Sirius, and this is so difficult. He doesn't know what HP they're on. He but has to locate two of them, doesn't have a kit. He's also one bullet to death as well with no kit. But I guess he could find the rifle, upgrade his chances here. But opts to fall back, which is probably the correct call. Well, FaZe will take the lead up to 10. The first to reach double digits here. Gonna fill a lot with joy. You know that FaZe were just talking about getting the Intel Grand Slam done and dusted here in Pro League. Have a long way to get there. This win will secure them a spot into the playoffs and that's crisscross no it's not the crisscross it's just one of the smokes out mid to b carrigan mollied out of position and favor needs to hit this the leg it might be good enough he's the only player on the site this rotation is coming carrigan could cut this off at the pass and it looks like he's been able to make his way into the back lines what a play for the in-game leader here they just have to deal with car Crimbo's bought them a chance though he spotted the player towards car so he's given the information at least and through the smoke twists Manages to come out on top. Still a lot of work to be done here, and low HP for both the phase players. Just get across rocks. with the bomb. Yeah, true. 30 seconds, though, and they've got the Molotov to enable the plant. Rimbo and Keto. The pincer maneuver is being deployed here. One towards tunnels, one of the double doors, a oh. twist. He hits a tick of his own molly and goes down. It's just going to be Rops here with the AWP isolated towards the back of the B site. He can still win this. It would take some tremendous play, but there's still a chance. Got a shot nailed. Can he find the second and contain oh. the lead? He absolutely can. Rising. 2-3 split of the defenses right now as Carrigan having pressure applied, teammates utility of support. He's just going to run out towards Gandalf taking this fight against Sirius and the flashes look good that Molly's are missing but he is in a joust right now. Oh, he's got him surely. Able to land. Rops has found a kill over towards Favon on the rotation and they've sent them packing. Phaser in towards the site here unless Tabson has something to say. I'm sure he does. But can he realize a couple of kills here? That's a great flashbang. Crimbo will set him up and now they definitely know he's there. Four versus two. Rops with a huge backstab towards the B-bomb site and Twist to pretty much confirm the round there. Oh, does he ever? Crimbo goes down and Twist has looked sensational, Jack. So that's uh, the weapon you need to actually do it precisely. So that's uh, unfortunate and thankfully, they'll get away with it. I say that, well, the bomb. that's Brokey as well. He's the one who actually missed the smoke. He'll be, can only be frustrated with himself, I suppose. Yeah, well, given a real opportunity here. Faven continues to pick in the smoke. Well, I'm sure Carrigan got a bit of a glance on him right there. Three on three. Are they going to go mid to B? This might be the signing kill. Rob's out long. You want to finish A now. There's one player marooned at Searson. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble here, Chad, with the Molotovs being deployed as well. He has to fight in the flames. Eight Can seconds. he get a double kill before it goes down? I don't. Oh, there's no the time. Plan. No, there's he no can't, time. Do can't do oh, it. This is it. Keto just has to stay alive. There's yeah. so many rounds in this game and finish to the clock. Look at the buy. Yeah, exactly right. So really. they haven't even. They haven't even committed to it. Yeah, they've done this before. I've seen this as a bit of a big special. And, well, Keto, he's being special right now. Three kills up mid. They don't need to invest. Apparently not, but uh, Robs is still alive and hot to trot. He'll be getting himself a kill towards Keto. Yeah, I guess uh, it kind of makes sense. They've done this before. It, sure. It's perplexing then. It's perplexing now. <laughs> it's, I've never made that they call in my life. should stick the landing. Like, surely they stick the landing here. This fight towards lower. Tapson seals the deal. Faven from behind with the Deagle. Rops is still alive, Henry. He is indeed, and he has one minute remaining, but the bomb is down towards low, and it's being patrolled by two players right now. Taps him with the AWP, Crimbo there with the Deagle. Presumably, he'll be able to recover a rifle. He'll be here very quick, right? Because he threw that flash over B, and now he's rerouted immediately. True. I don't know if the penny's going to drop here. Rops might have both back turned. So he drops down from spawn here. They're not looking. Oh, are they going to consider it? They're still not looking. They're still not is looking. Freebie here? Yeah? Spotted at least one. 
Short the tap for Rops is massive. It's a one on one now. Still plenty of time for this. Tapson's picked up that AWP. He's spotted. Rops knows exactly where he is. Trying to chase him down with the HE. Tapson just running. He's given Rops an opportunity to pick up the bomb here. Yeah, he absolutely has, but uh, he tucks himself in towards B. Rops presumably knows that. Can grab the bomb. Jump up towards these short boxes. Has he got time? Oh my goodness, it comes down to this. I think he wins the round. It falls on its ass. Tapson, he can't hit the shot. Will be deployed from long double doors. Very oh, nice. Definitely spotted him here. Yeah, Rain caught a glimpse of Sirius and Carrigan now activating out long and almost on the jump. Crimbo is in hot water. Real trouble now. Two mollies. And it's Rops again, the active lurks. This has been the difference. Rops has been getting stuck in. As soon as the space is created, Rops is taking it. And Big, I said if they could win this round, there's a chance they can bring it back, but this is not looking good. It's not looking good at all. I think that's a fair assessment. Two players remain, five on two, and uh, just tightening the screws here. We will see. Phase Clan making their way towards A, damage inflicted. Tapson can do nothing about it. And Faven will be the last survivor here. They should hunt him. They, they should definitely, definitely hunt him. Yeah. In fact, Rops already has lower dark control. They know he has to be over towards this B site. He's just sitting here like a plum towards the back of Plat. If Twist is one of these hunting members, well, unfortunately, he's over towards Long for now, T spawn. He could have got a HE into they, exactly that position. They almost have 100% got him because they've still got, what, 20 seconds left yeah, on the bomb. He's done. Rain towards the window. As soon as he does kill Robs, oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead now already. Yeah, you're right. He yeah, can mate. extinguish it at least. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's about some aggression, some heads up play. They will catch Twist out of position. 24 kills will be stalled here. So an opener, they must convert to keep things alive on Dust 2. Boost now, so staying agile with this setup. Yeah. He's gonna lop the head. Carrying through the doors, doesn't clear his corners. Trying to be reactive, and finally Big putting up a bit of a fight, but still hamstrung in the weapon department. You can't blame Carrigan for that. He's so good at finding those sort of gaps and reacting to those sort of plays. Sure, it doesn't work out, but had he got through and got a kill in CT spawn, everyone would be loving it. So that's the kind of plays he makes. Doesn't work out for them. They've still got four rounds here. They can still win this one, of course. It's uh, a four versus three, just lost the advantage at this stage. An educated guess, right? Stack sure. Are you expecting another one doors? Well, apparently it should be. Rops, ahead of the flames, does get the necessary kill to at least buy some space. And Brokey on the box will get Whoa. another kill. This one looking done. Just Sirison with the scout. The upgrade, he picks it up. He gets the kill. It's a one-on-one -on -one oh. against Brokey. Well, he'll have the information that Sirison is very low, but he's got the AK-47 up against his orb. He still has a fighting chance. At HP, not so much of a factor, but Brokey has got the pistol out for now. Which way does this one go? Flashbangs DC, he's got the Desert Eagle. One bullet would do it. Can he connect? Oh, can he ever? A beautiful headshot there and a great performance from FaZe in his second half. They were looking slow and rigid, Chad, to kick things off.